Hey guys, how's it going? Coder Man here. In today's video, I wanted to kind of give a quick overview on what I had done for the paint on the GT4 and also talked a little bit about how I'm taking to the car to a track day next week. So as I'm sure you can see, the paint is a hell of a lot glossy and cleaner. The wheels are super clean. Uh, overall, the car is just really glossy and looks brand new. And not only did it get a wash, um, actually, sorry, it got a wash, a stage one correction, it got Opticoat, uh, was it Pro Plus? and I also had Expel put on the hood, as other pieces of the car had Expel, uh, but in this area here, there was a whole bunch of swirling. So they took care of that over at Craft Detailing. I'll drop a link in the description. Uh, if you're in the area in Dedham, definitely have your car brought there. Uh, they do a great job, and they took real good care of this. So in my previous video, I had mentioned that I really didn't like the Porsche paint, and I'm guessing from the dislikes, you guys didn't like that video too much. Uh, but it was a super popular video in, you know, in the, the scheme of my channel. And I kind of just wanted to explain that, like, I don't hate this car at all. I mean, I love this car. I'm actually taking it to the track next week uh, in uh, Thompson, Connecticut. And that'll be the first time I've had this car on the track. So that's why I wanted to actually put the, uh, the Expel on the hood, uh, touch up the other areas, and have Optico put on it. So that when I come back from the track, I can get the track debris and everything off of it without harming the paint. So it's not a cheap process. Uh, it's actually a painstaking process. I've seen people do it themselves. I decided to send it to professionals and the result is a very crispy, clean, shiny, almost glass-like GT4. So off topic, filming on camera in your neighborhood is really fun because your neighbors look at you like you have two heads. And of course I have a giant camera sitting in front of me, but you know, it's fun. Um, so yeah, so I basically, I had that put on there and that really gets one of my gripes of the paint uh, thing of the past. So it protects the paint, it adds a layer on top of being able to wash it. Uh, I also set up a new wash system, so I've always had the power washer, which I have right here. I just have a gas Ryobi, uh, no Krenzel here unfortunately. But what I did end up getting was a uh, shorty pistol grip style uh, MTM, what was it, the S, uh, SGS28. Uh, so Matt Mormon of uh, Seth's Garage has done a whole bunch of reviews and stuff on this and I took his recommendations on a slightly cheaper result. All right, so that's enough for me and my shiny car. I also have another surprise in this video. I am letting somebody else actually drive this, who Hello. that is Tedward from Tedward Drives, if you're not familiar, although I'm pretty sure you know who he is. Maybe. 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 And you're out of focus, but whatever. You know these hands, though. <laughs> yeah, they do, yes. They know, they know your voice and they know your hands. There's a bring a trailer listing up right now with a 1960 Ferrari 250 GT pin and for in a coupe. And uh, it's getting a lot of attention because they don't go up very often. It's like the Ferris Bueller car, but a coupe and a longer wheelbase. Beautiful V12, all the, all the goodies. It sounds incredible. And I got to do the drive video for that. And there's a ton of comments on the car, but one guy commented, he goes, the hands on the steering wheel are way too young. And I'm 32 now, so I, can appre I appreciate that kind of stuff now. <laughs> <laughs> Moisturize, boys and girls. Right, exactly. <laughs> so what the heck do you have here? This is something. This is like the Hot Rod Durango. It's, it's, they, just, they just announced that they're gonna come out with a Hellcat version of this, but this is the 392 SRT Durango. And it's, it's a bit of a lump. Like, it, it's fast. It's not slow, but it's not a Porsche. You know what I mean? Like, you get in a Cayenne Turbo, there's a thing it does. This doesn't do that. However, there is nothing like launching this thing at a red light. It's it's hilarious because it sounds just like a it sounds just like a charger scat back. And as I'm filming this, I'm swatting the Brembo brakes. Is that correct? <laughs> yeah, she stops. Wow. <laughs> All right, that's something you don't see every day. On... And they're two-piece floating rotors too. Like it's actually like a pretty. They're dirty, but it's a pretty sweet little setup. So, and will this be on your channel or on Winding Road? Both. Both. All right. So I'll I'll do I'll do a, like a day and night POV on Winding Road, and then I'll do like an actual review. Um, this one, as a press car, a lot of times press cars don't see more than 10,000 miles. This one's a little over 14 right now. So th this car has seen a life. I don't want to know what's been done to this thing. Like, this poor vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to take great care of it to add of to the miles. <laughs> and this transmission has probably seen a thousand launches. Like, uh, easily. Alright, well there'll be what, a thousand and ten when you're done, maybe? <laughs> yeah. Alright, definitely go check out that video. He's actually going to be taking my car oh my God, and it putting it on his channel and maybe winding road i'm not sure you'll have to see Ooh, new rubber too as always please like comment and subscribe 
Smash that like button if you like the car or you like the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.